How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kickin' Barbecue, and today we're talking bacon-wrapped onion rings. Now, if you haven't done bacon-wrapped onion rings before, they're incredibly simple to do. You can even do them the night before and get them out in the smoker the next day, kind of plan ahead for a party or tailgating or whatever, and the ingredients are minimal. Bacon, onions, your favorite barbecue rub, and your favorite sauce. So let's bring you in and show you how we're gonna prep these bacon-wrapped onion rings. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do to prep our bacon-wrapped onion rings is go ahead and prep our onions. This is just a white onion. You can use a sweet onion if you want, but the white onions were the biggest ones my store had, so that's what I chose to go with. But, hey, go with whatever you like. Now, to prep these, it's going to be very simple. I'm just going to start by taking the roots off and the end off here and get that off to the side. And then what you want to do is kind of measure out your what you want your onion rings to be. So we want decent sized ones. So we're going to go ahead and just slice down the middle and we'll take care of that skin later. We're going to come in here and slice off another. You want to try and get as many as you can out of this middle section here. And then we'll come in here and we'll get one more. Like so. Now at this point, we can go ahead and take off the skin. All right guys, and once you've gone ahead and removed the skin, what you wanna do is find these two outer layers right here, and you wanna leave two layers on like this. You can see there's two there. You wanna leave the two layers on. If you just leave one, this onion ring is gonna get really mushy while it cooks. So go ahead and leave two on, give you a little bit thicker here. And you wanna try and get as many as you can out of one onion. And I'm guessing we're probably gonna get six or seven out of this one. All right guys, you can see I have my six onion rings here. So obviously the bigger the onion, the more you're gonna get and depending on how you cut them. But like I said, you just wanna make sure you leave two rings in here so the onions do not get soggy. Now at this point, all we're going to do is take some of our barbecue sauce and we're just gonna brush the outsides of them. You can actually even flip them over. And this is just gonna add a little bit of flavor. And the sauce I'm using today is the PS seasoning cherry bomb sauce. This stuff is awesome. It's sweet. It's got a little bit of a kick to it and it's going to go really great with these onion rings. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a light coating outside of the onion ring. And if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. It just adds a little bit of nice flavor to it. And you're going to be saucing the bacon anyways once it's, once it's close to being done. So this is just adding a little bit more flavor to it. All right. And you can see we have our onion ring sauced. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of our bacon and I just like to kind of pull it and stretch it out a little bit. And what you wanna do here is it's best if you go through like this. So go all the way through and then just kind of wrap this one like so. Then you're just gonna go around and drop it back through the middle, around, drop it back through the middle and so on and so forth. And it's probably gonna take two pieces of bacon for these bigger ones like this. So I'll go ahead and grab one more. Go ahead, stretch it out, drop it through the middle, and then just kind of wrap it around, dropping it through the middle the entire time until you have the onion ring completely wrapped like so. And if you have a little excess, you can either choose to wrap it more or just cut it off. And that is our onion ring, bacon wrapped onion ring right here. You can see it's got a nice tight wrap around it, no toothpicks needed. As long as you do it the correct way, you will not have an issue. And guys, I just wanted to show you here, you can see this one, we're a little bit short on our bacon. What we can do is just wrap some of our trim around it and get that kind of folded in. And there, we don't have to waste another piece of bacon. You can just use some trim if you're a little bit short. So that is an option. All right, guys, so you can see we have all of our onion rings completely wrapped up here. Now, I just have some of the PS seasonings, Notorious PIG rub. This stuff is a pulled pork rub. And since bacon is pork, I think it's gonna go fantastic on this. I just threw it in the shaker right here for easy application. So all we're gonna do is just go ahead and give them a nice light coat. You don't need to go too crazy. There's enough salt in the bacon. We just wanna help out with the color and help out a little bit with the flavor. And there we are. You can see we have our bacon wrapped onion rings completely seasoned up. And there's not much else to do. If you want to spend some time and make sure you get the sides all completely, you can definitely go ahead and do that. I'm not too worried about it. I know we're going to have tons of flavor from the rub on top and from the sauce. So these are going to be absolutely fantastic. And at this point, if you wanted to cook them tomorrow, you could go ahead and get them into the refrigerator. But we are going to cook them today. 
and to be cooking our bacon wrapped onion rings. We're gonna be cooking on the Traeger today. We're gonna be running cooking pellets, hickory pellets, because I really love hickory smoked bacon, and I think it's gonna go absolutely phenomenal with these bacon wrapped onion rings. Now, for the final product, you can expect a nice al dente onion. So it should still have a little bit of a crunch, but it's not gonna be raw. It's gonna kind of cook down and get a little soft and just be al dente and the bacon's gonna be nice and cooked. All we have to do is make sure our bacon's cooked and these are done. We're gonna be running at 275 degrees today, and I'm gonna let them go for one hour and go out and check them, see how they're looking. You can cook at 250 if you want. It's just gonna extend your cook time a little bit, and you could even cook at 300 if you wanted to, but I think today 275 is what we're gonna be rocking. So I'll meet you guys outside at the Traeger. All right, guys, you can see we have our bacon-wrapped onion rings out here at the Traeger. We are running at 275 degrees, and I have a timer set for one hour so we are going to go ahead and let these cook and I will see you guys in one hour. All right, so it has been an hour and 15 minutes. They weren't quite ready at the hour mark, so I gave them another 15 minutes. You can see they are looking absolutely wonderful. At this point, we are just gonna go ahead and hit them with a little bit of the barbecue sauce just to get a nice glaze on them. We're not gonna go too heavy. We want this sauce to set. All right, and you can see we have an awesome glaze on here. We're gonna let these go for about 10 minutes and then we'll come out, check them, make sure it's tacked up. And then, the best part, we get to eat them. So we'll see you guys in 10 minutes. All right guys, it has been 10 minutes. You can see we have an awesome glaze on these bacon wrapped onion rings. They're looking absolutely fantastic. So we are gonna get these inside and let them cool off for about 15 minutes. And I'll bring you back for the taste test, but how fantastic do these things look? Absolutely delicious, beautiful glaze, smells wonderful, the hickory, pellets from cooking pellets did a wonderful job with that smoke flavor I cannot wait to try these so we'll see you guys in about 15 minutes all right guys and here we go here is our bacon wrapped onion rings we've let them cool down for about 10 15 minutes I can't wait any longer I gotta try them they look wonderful they smell delicious that hickory smoke from the cooking pellets is really coming through we got a nice glaze on here from our sauce these are gonna be absolutely fantastic, and enough's enough, I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna grab this one because it looks absolutely amazing. Bacon, perfectly cooked, nice glaze, smells smoky, cheers. Look at that, clean bite on the onion. It still has a little crunch to it, but it doesn't have the raw taste. The bacon is perfectly cooked, bites right through. It's not soggy on the wrap or anything like that. I'm going in for another bite. You guys, this is absolutely delicious. The Notorious PIG seasoning is popping on the bacon. That cherry bomb sauce is off the hook. It's probably all over my face. I don't care. Onion, cooked perfectly. Smoke flavor, awesome. And like I said, this was an extremely easy cook. I'm gonna finish this off and we'll close out the video. All right guys, and that is bacon wrapped smoked onion rings. Absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend you give it a try. You're gonna love them and all your guests are going to love them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time.